This high-pitched sound is called isobue, which means sea whistle. Ama divers make this sound when they breathe between dives. Through the ages, an occupation called ama has existed along the coast of Japan. Those who work as ama free dive to catch seafood and collect seaweed. At Hegora Island, 50 kilometers offshore from Wajima City in Ishikawa Prefecture, there are still many ama divers. From the Edo to the Showa period, residents of Ama Town in Wajima City went to Hegora Island from July to September to work there for the diving season. The movement from the mainland to Hegora Island during the summer continues today. Some choose not to reside on the island and commute daily. Until around 1935, they celebrated with festive red rice when a girl was born. The birth of a girl means the continuance of the family business of Ama. <laughs> で、はい、彼なんだら朝になと思ったよ。潜った has a long history. The word ama appears in Man Yoshu, the oldest Japanese anthology of poetry, compiled in 750. How have the ama been able to practice sustainable fishing for such a long time? They have determined and set the fishing season, fishing hours, and prohibited areas. They have also discussed whether to use new tools. They have been aware that things that enable them to catch more fish could lead to the depletion of resources. So they have made rules and continue to try to ensure that the rules are respected in the community. In the Meiji era, diving goggles were introduced, and in 1964 the AMA began using wetsuits. They first discussed whether to use these new tools and how the new tools might affect their fishing practices. Those who dove wearing only a loincloth when they were young now wear wetsuits and diving masks. When they come back from fishing, they check to see if they have taken any undersized horned turban, which is a type of sea snail. Any that are too small must be thrown back. Everyone rides bicycles to the fish market. There are only two cars on the island, one for garbage collection and the other for emergencies. This is one of the rules set by the community.
乱獲したんじゃもう持続できるので規制というものは必ずつけまったわけです一つのコミュニティで申し合わせたことが守られとるということなんですよ、ね、例えばあのもう漁期にしてもアービート解禁は7月の1日、ね、そして時間も限られてるそれから装具も限られてるそれは人間の能力ですからね中には腕の上手な人は避けとるかもしれんけれどもその程度はねあくまで人間の能力とうことで機械の文明の力はそんな借りてないそこがね僕はやっぱりここはずっと維持されてきたねそ大きな原因だと思うね。The islanders were careful not to deplete the resources, but the amount of abalone has nonetheless declined drastically. In 1964, there were 28.4 tons of abalone landed, but by 2008, the number had declined to 3.6 tons. This warning alarm bell shows that the depletion of ocean resources is coming not only from overfishing. まだ海がねこんなあったかなかったやろそれそこを2メーターぐらいになると冷たいの。うん、ちょっとぺってこうやって体震えるくらいスーツ着とってもこれ今はね温暖化やさけ全然冷たいちゅうことないほんだけ水温が違うんで物がおらんやろ食べる海藻類がいないやろアマダイバーズ die four hours a day if the weather allows them Japan meteorological agency data confirms what the AMA say showing that in the last 100 years, the average sea temperature in the Sea of Japan rose 1.68 degrees Celsius. Abalone live in a rocky area intersected by the sea currents. The warmer temperatures may have affected the growth of the seaweed on which the abalone feed. There is no scientific data to explain the drop off in the abalone catch. However, many AMA divers mentioned the changing ocean environment. The islanders decide as a community on the areas where fishing is prohibited and on Ocean Cleaning Day in order to prevent resource depletion. We don't know what's going to happen. It's up to nature, one Amma said. The islanders live close to nature and they have strong faith in nature and the ocean. Hegora Island is only five kilometers long. On such a small island, there are seven Shinto shrines and many altars. This is the first day of the Wajima Grand Festival. Today, the residents of Ama Town celebrate this year's good harvest and pray for the next year. This festival is based on the story that a female deity from Hegora visits to see the male deity in Wajima. Men dress up as women. And they go into the ocean with the Mikoshi, a portable shrine. Maybe they pray that the sea whistle never stops and that the Ama practice lasts. The oldest working Ama on the island is 92 years old. For them, diving is not mere work. But something they feel driven to do. They have spent hundreds of thousands of hours in the ocean. It's an important part of their lives. 
Will this ancient practice continue? でも、それは好きでないとできない仕事だから、今日の仕事はここからここまでみたいな、そういう仕事じゃないし、やっぱ自分が好きでないと、海には入れない。たまには入れないと。まあ、長く、この職業を続けられたらいいかなっていう感じ